Here's a little tour of my Toyota Hiace. Start in the front, just get out. So you've got a Granvia captain seat here. The arm. And then on the other side, we have a Honda CRV front seat, also with the armrest, and a custom swivel mech. So if I just pull this lever here, and you just pull this lever here. You've got a lovely seat in the front. So we've got the outdoor kitchen set up. Just gonna do that. Got a little cooker out here. cutting area. So a great little place to cook. Come around this side. Got another little drawer here. Keep your pots and pans in and stuff. So just below the cooking surface is a slot and that's designed to fit in an eight foot surfboard. Cows are coming to say hello. In the back here you've got a little shelf where you can keep some spices, got the surf wax in there, and then a little storage for some cups and whatever else you want to put in there. Cows really want to say hello today. So you've got this little side storage unit. So in here, Spare water tank, and then actually down there, there's another little bit of storage you can get into. Let's move this stuff out. It's got some jump leads in it at the moment. In the forward compartment here, you've got 12 volt and some USBs, both 12 volt sockets. This is actually a light switch for when you're cooking outside. You've got some lights up here, real bright. They light up the whole kitchen area. Uh, this one's just to isolate the USB. And then you've got some sockets down there for laptops, anything you want, up to 500 watts. And then when you're charging, you've got a little hole here just to bring your cables through. Moving around the side. Added this plastic trim for the step out of a Granvia. The uh, Toyota Highest doesn't come with these, but I managed to salvage that one. So coming in here, we have a flip up table dining area. So this flips up, you can sit here, get two people quite comfortably, even three around this area. Electric tap here, I'll show you that how that's set up. Slots in nicely into here. Creates a little ledge. A little pop out sink. Just slots on there. A little tap. Got a 20 litre water tank that will last you a weekend easily. Got a little extension table here. I can slot that slots onto here nice and sturdy. And you can put the stove on there and cook inside. So when it's raining, you can have a nice little setup like this. Got the swivel seat out. Great little spot. So in this little storage area is where the water tank stays. You can fit the pop-out sink and the stay at the table here. L-shaped seat configuration. So lots of storage under here. Pull it out and slide it. Slides and locks straight into there. Opens up this space. Shove your sleeping bags in there. So to set up the bed, just pull this out. Comes all the way out. Then all these cushions. All those cushions fit in place like so. 
Now this is quite a big bed setup for this size van. It's two meters long. So if you're tall, you're gonna fit. The good thing about having a swivel seat at the front is you get a little bit of space. You can sit here or someone can sit here while someone's sleeping, it really opens it up. Window here, curtains. Also got blackout blinds fitted to all windows. Forward, little cool box unit, 15 litres. Just undo the straps. So this forward unit is a mixture of top loading storage, which you can also access through there. And then the electrical unit, so 190 amp battery system. In there. Very easy to access. Two screws, lift the handle, pull out. If you ever need to access that for any reasons. Above that, you've got the electrical panel. So, fuse box, 500 watt inverter. Got automatic light dimmer on a control. Uh, that's for the lights up here, there's four of them. Split charge relay to charge the batteries. It's got a little kill switch, which will uh, kill the power if it drops below a certain voltage. That'll stop you uh, draining the batteries too low. Uh, it's got a separate fuse for the inverter, which you can turn off when you're not using the van. Just put it in that. And then we've got a little smart meter up here. So you turn this on. So currently uh, 12.7 volts. And it tells you how much wattage you're using and what level your batteries are. Currently four batteries, as you can see in the middle. So that's that unit. The front is a rail. Got blackout blinds. So these just pull across. Fill full blackouts. And the cab. A nice storage cubby in the middle. Got overhead storage that keeps the blinds in for the windows, blackouts. Real comfy seats. I think that pretty much covers the inside. Just looking on the outside of the van. Got the Mitsubishi Shogun 4x4 wheels, alloys. It's got the Granvia front chrome grille. Add a bit of bling. So now to check out the roof. Easy climb. Wheel. Got a little ledge here and your bars. Up here you got a lovely deck. Look out to the view. All the cows are going down there now. Great size deck. Fit up. Lovely bit of storage, we keep the camp chairs in there. Sunset a bit now. I'll show you the light setup. Little controller. Lights out the back on as well. 